So the project is about the relationship between telecommunication companies and internet shutdowns. Specifically, we explore the extent to which and the way at which it makes a difference that companies are owned by different owners, be it the state, be it private shareholders or public shareholders, um, such as insurance companies. And um, we are interested in seeing if it makes a difference if, for instance, a company is owned by the state with regard to the chances that a state-ordered shutdown will be complied with. How far I remember, I was with Tina Freiburg in Warwick. We were both working there and we were talking about which findings we really liked from my thesis. So what I, I had found out that I hadn't studied so far. And then we, we talked about telecommunications politics and, uh, and it started from there. Fortunately, we are in a lucky situation in Switzerland because there are quite a number of funding organizations that you can apply at. Um, so we have started with the SNES, which is the Swiss Network um, of International Studies. The next step was then to apply to university funding and now we are putting together a proposal for the SNF. Our team is really diverse in terms of expertise, I would say. So we really go together well because we have different strengths. So formally I'm the leader of the project. I think for most of the time I, I steer the project. I try to make sure that the individual parts speak to each other. And I think my primary task also is to think forward, to think about what are the next steps, what is still needed. I'm in charge of everything that is linked to French speaking uh, tasks. So for example, field research in Paris, that's what I do. And data management. So from the very first second, I have been in charge of finding the, the right angle to approach the data set. At the moment, I'm in Oxford at the Oxford Internet Institute where I spent one year as a visiting PhD researcher funded by the Swiss National Fund. So I'm um, working on gathering data. I went to Uganda last year to do field re research together with uh, Veronique and Tina. And I'm also responsible for data analysis, as well as developing the theory of why do we expect the companies in Africa to invest and behave in the way that they do. I started out just gathering data, just collecting data for the database and then as well do some quality checks on the data. I think it would be quite a big project to do oneself, so <laughs> that's probably an adventure we can split the work between the four of us. What I really liked about the project um, was meeting people that I, had, I wouldn't have met otherwise. So people from the digital sector, activism, lawyers, but also from the industry, for example, enterprises. Um, and not only about the, the sector, but also about the places we, we've been to. Uh, we have done field research in Uganda and Canada. Uh, I'm currently in Paris. So I think this project will actually be a great contribution to better understanding what internet service providers operate in Africa, where they come from, whom they belong to, and what consequences of, of these patterns are. I think we do very important work. There is much reporting about internet shutdowns, in particular when it comes to African countries, but there is little systematic empirical evidence. And this is what we can basically offer. I also think that this project will shed light on European companies. A lot of European companies have subsidiaries in Africa and we will learn more about how they behave in Africa when they face, um, when they face challenges in terms of complying with local laws and practices.